Hi, Jake of All Games here, and today we're going to be taking another look into Slime Rancher. Specifically, we're going to answer the question, what's the max number of Largos that you can fit inside of a corral? As I hit the lag spike of my ranch, I realize I have to come up with a plan. I need the right kind of Largo for this job, something that will stay calm so that more of them will stay in the cage. Rock slimes are too tough for this project. Tabbies are hard to feed. Phosphor slimes can just fly away. I love red slimes, but they're not suited for this. Boomer right out. And then there's honey slimes. Slow moving and sweet, they're the perfect choice for this project. And now on to the plan. Step one, clear a plot of land. You just take these guys and you throw them wherever. It doesn't really matter. You can always get more. Step two. Gather your materials. Gather up the honey plorts while listening to that oh-so-satisfying sound. If you watched my last video, you might know exactly where I'm gonna get pink slimes from. Over here! And here! And these! Hey, you're not a slime! No balls allowed! And some of these over here, and then just kind of vacuum up the rest out of the corral. Using a circular motion helps here. Step 3. Mix them together. I'll speed it up a little bit, but using an advanced process I would like to call math. We're going to be able to tell exactly how many slimes have been used without having to count each one individually. You just have to remember how many items you can hold in a pouch. Oh hey, what are all of these slimes looking at? Oh no. Step 4. Realizing the mistakes you've made, and then fixing them. This mistake isn't too hard to fix. All you have to do is a little bit of reorganizing here. You know, just grab them and kind of huck them across the way. And then... Crap. Step 4. A. Realizing the mistakes you've made, and then fixing them. Luckily, there's an easy solution. And... And our problem is solved. And now you can see the true stability of this build. Everything is staying in place and nothing is bouncing out. What the sh- Another issue is that I've seen to find the exact number that will fit in there versus the number that will fit in there with having one constantly be bouncing out. So while we could go with the stable number, I think since we're going for the maximum limit of Largos, we will go with the unstable number. So without further ado, I give you the magic number of 69. Don't get too excited. Let me show you how I got the 69 from having a 26 on the screen. You see, math dictated that when I went through a portal and came back out, I mysteriously lost two slimes. And every once in a while, you see them smiling, and you just gotta hurl them back into the mother slime. <coughs> Alright, well, that's it. If you're into this kind of stuff, make sure to drop me a subscribe and like, or even comment with some max limit that you would like to see in the future. Remember, teamwork makes the dream work. Goodbye!